people wonder why uh, my title music is just a bunch of ping pong balls and that's an homage to the german group can which on their 1979 album inner space do feature a song that just contains of 20 seconds of ping pong playing with a bit of background music and uh, can is one of the most influential bands um, in rock music although you have never heard of them and if you haven't you better check them out Therefore, today's video is sponsored by Ping Pong. Actually, no, it's not. Jesus. Oh, no! Kasi MM from M writes. Hey, Dr. Schweinsgruber, you may have such a low number of subscribers because you are like a university professor. Dear Kasi, that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. I want to inform. I, I'm not a marketer. And I'm a PhD in science. And you should know that because of a master's in science. Hi, my name is Dr. Schweinsgruber with audioreviews.org, as always, and today... I would like to invite you to a comparison of the Shunding UA2 and $85 uh, portable duck amp without battery versus the $299 AudioQuest uh, Dragonfly Cobalt. And before I start, I would like just to give you a bit of a history of these dongles. And first, on the market where audio quest in 2012 um, with the dragonfly black 1.2 and this one did not work with a phone because it drew too much battery and in 2016 they revised this in version to version 1.5 that's what i bought in 2016 and uh, this one now with the help of the apple adapter in my case for the iphone worked very well uh, with my iPhone and I could connect uh, higher powered or power hungry headphones uh, to my iPhone. At the same time, I also purchased, also in 2016, I purchased the Chitterbug, which is a USB filter. And I will talk about USB filtering a little bit later. In 2016, AudioQuest was still pretty lonely on the market. Apogee had uh, released the Groove, but the Groove also didn't run with phones because of the power drain. They released the um, Dragonfly Red for $199. Um, uh, physically looks the same as the Black. It's more powerful and, and technically refined. And in 2019, they added the Cobalt at $299. So there's a $200 difference, and there is no difference in power. There's no difference in power, so they both are the same power, but obviously they have other differences, and uh, I will discuss this probably in an extra video, and maybe briefly at the end of this one. But uh, let's just go back, and so we have Shanling, a Chinese company uh, that has been existing since 1988, and they are known for the quality hi-fi equipment, and there is AudioQuest, a company that uh, has existed since 1983. So... Ever since 2016, and especially lately, um, everybody in the dog has released one of these um, headphone dongles um, or phone dongles or computer dongles, uh, tons of them on the market. And um, some of them are only ornaments. They start at $20. They do nothing. I tested one that did absolutely nothing. And I listened to quite a few of them. And you see this on in the links below the side uh, of audioreviews.org where I did this, but um, um, today I picked out the brand new Shanling UA2 with, and I thank Shanling uh, for providing this for my review and I also thank AudioQuest for doing the same with their Cobalt. So let's compare the tech specs between the $85 Shanling and the $299 AudioQuest. They both feature the same chip, the ESS 9038Q2M. Um, the Shanling, in addition, has a balanced output uh, and a single-ended output. 
and the ba balanced output is typically a good idea as it as it gives you more power and it uh, gives you more headroom and it gives you more three dimensionality typically so in even the single ended output of the cheaper shandling is more powerful than that of the audio quest dragonfly and the last big difference is the decoding the shandling decodes up to 32 bit and 784 kilohertz and the audio quest dragonfly is limited to 24 bit and 96 kilohertz so you would say why bother this one is much cheaper it's got much better specs story done we get this one hey stop it's not that easy but so let's go uh, let's go to the to the chip so these have the two, same chip and so does the uh, EMN TRM or Trump and so does the Kadas T2 Pro and all these four sound completely different let's talk about the differences between these two the Shanling has a 50% higher battery drain on my phone compared to the Cobalt 50% is quite a bit uh, for your battery life the best battery life is with the dragonfly red and the black actually and they drain a third less than the cobalt the cobalt is in the mid middle of the pack of all the dongles i've tested the shunling is at the very end and then a word on the differences in resolution the uh, dragonfly is limited by its driverless technology to 24 and 96 and only the fewest files around are actually high res files and i don't have any of them so uh it doesn't matter which resolution each of these has but the most important thing is they have the same duct chip and they have different sound let's talk about sound the shanling sounds actually really good it's got a good depth it's got a little bit of warmth, it's got a good attack and decay, good transients, but the sound is a, not very linear, it's a little bit um, boosted in the bass, and the bass is a little bit bumpy, it's, it's a little bit impure, it could be more articulate, and the mid-range is slightly attenuated and a little bit on the harsher side compared to the Cobalt, which is actually the best sounding dongle I've ever heard. It's very linear, nothing is elevated, nothing is boosted, it's very smooth and it's most of all very organic sounding, very organic and natural sounding. And that's where the difference is. And the reason why this sounds better has a couple of reasons actually. First, it's not just the duct chip that matters. It's the duct chip, it's the implementation of the duct chip, including filtering, it's the analog output stage, of the DAC, it's the amp design and it's the op amps and how it's just built. Um, that is very important. The second one is filtering, and that's where the jitterbug comes in again. Filtering means your computer and also your phone introduces impurities to the signal. There's two sources in a in a computer. One is the VBus that introduces noisy power. And then there's the data line that introduces it introduces um, timing errors. And both of these timing errors are chitter. And both of these uh, result in, in a deteri deterioration of the signal. It's a bit like putting dirt in bath water. It just is not as clear and clean anymore. And so while the Shanling does not have any filtering, the um, uh, Cobalt does have some of the jitterbug technology and uh, most of most notably it has an asynchronous uh, reclocking uh, software dark reclocker and it it tries to uh, eliminate the um, packet or timing errors and it makes the difference and uh, you can buy up to several thousands of dollars of devices they do just that reclocking cleaning and uh, that's where the difference is that's where the difference is between this 85 dollar device and the 300 dollar device and what's also interesting is is if you actually use the shunling with the jitterbug it actually 
cleans up the low end and it also smooths out the mid-range and I'm not hallucinating. This is absolutely true on my MacBook. MacBook. Now, the uh, red also doesn't have any filtering, $100 cheaper, but it's also more linear sounding than the Shanling UA2, but it's edgier compared to the AudioQuest uh, Cobalt. Um, and uh, for practical um, um, application, if you have, let's say, a $700 uh, earphone like the Dunu Sen, and you add the Shanling uh, UA2, you are at about just below $800, and this is a bit of a bottleneck, and you fare much better uh, with the um, Cobalt, which brings up the total tally up to approximately $1,000. So it really depends what you, what, what, what you, what you need. If you have a, a cheaper equipment, you get a very well away with the UA2, which is a great $85 um, uh, dongle that probably punches above its 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 price. Uh, but if you have uh, sophisticated, expensive equipment, you may want to look into more the AudioQuest uh, Dragonfly Cobalt. So the cage match is. Is, uh, is a tie because everybody to their own is Cicero, Setsu, Kuikwe, uh, whatever fits you better, for however your budget is. And that's what I wanted to say. And um, if you like this video, please give, uh, give me or give this video a like, uh, uh, push that bell to uh, receive notifications. And uh, I see you next time. My name is Dr. Schweinsgruber in Calgary. Auf Wiedersehen. Today's video is sponsored by Ping Pong. Nah.